No. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's the deal. February. It's uh, right around the corner. No, but uh, February. It's coming up soon, and uh, basically, you know, in February, as you may or may not know, the uh, end of analog broadcast as we know it ends, and uh, very few people really know what that means because. Most people in my generation, um, most people in my generation haven't really used over-the-air broadcast as their way to get television. They have cable or they have satellite. So a lot of people are really unsure what it even is and why they should care. So basically, I'm going to tell you what it is, but not why you should care, because if you don't know that already, then you don't <laughs> no but anyway so here it goes alright so here is my uh, much famed around nowhere um, wallow TVs which basically six TVs stacked in my room alright so here we go I'm gonna turn on the TVs And okay, so here we go. And this is basically the five channels within reason that I can get where I live. These two are actually the same channel. All right, so here's you know here's the channels. This is this is the religious channel that we get. This is the NBC affiliate. This is the ABC station, which you can kind of see, and this is the independent station, which, as you can see, is not really available. Anyway, so when the digital transition happens in February, with the exception of this station, which doesn't really come in right here, all the other stations here will no longer be available because they're full power stations with the exception of this one, which is a low power station. And low power stations in February are allowed to stay on the air, but this one is choosing to switch to digital and not stay on the air. So it will go off, as will the CBS affiliate the ABC affiliate and the NBC affiliate. This will be the only station that will actually stay on the air which is the independent station that's low power. So there you have that. Um, so here we have some cool other stuff. Here's the Sony Watchman. Another Sony Watchman. Here we have a realistic pocket vision and a citizen LCD TV. So here's actually the true, you know, sad effect of the digital transition, which is these TVs, which have been made for many years now, um, will become all but, if well, they'll become completely worthless after the digital transition. They're portable, they really don't have any way to input a digital tuner and you don't really want to because the point is they're you know little portable TVs. And this one's actually, the, this is actually the one I use on a fairly regular basis. Or it's a little, it actually is a little color TV. It's actually a pretty good picture. It's a nice little system. Now over here I can actually shed some color on the situation for you. This is the uh, little modest color TV that I love that's beside my bed and uh, it basically can get, um, this is the ABC affiliate, over here is the CBS affiliate 
and down here is the NBC affiliate. Now over here is supposed to be the PBS station. Alright, so here's the TV in the other room. So here's actually another example of channel 10. And here's actually the channel that's the independent channel that doesn't come in well in my bedroom. Here's the ABC station. It kind of crappy over here because I really have it tuned in to take advantage of the independent station and of channel 6 which is the NBC affiliate. You know, have that. Up there actually um, are two more TVs that will while I don't use them on a normal basis will become completely worthless. Alright, so here's another uh, TV that will be worthless that currently can still be used like it could be 50 plus years ago when it was made which is this little General Electric TV I have. Alright so here is the uh, General Electric TV over its um, built in 50 plus year old analog tuner. It gets a good picture and it does what it needs. Alright so here's the other television that's upstairs here. Alright, so here we go down the stairs to the basement. Alright, so here's this TV and it actually it currently doesn't pick up anything because I uh, don't have an antenna hooked to it, but it's a TV. <laughs> I don't know really why I filmed it because you can't see anything on it. But yeah, it's a TV. Alright, so right away here you should see the uh, major benefit and reasoning for digital television. This is once again over the air television. Here's the antenna right here on top of the unit and you know basically it it's the only thing this TV has to pick up its picture um, and it does a very good job. So uh, here's the actually the CBS affiliate that was on upstairs. Here is the ABC affiliate. As you can see, it's a, it's a wonderful picture compared to the other ones. It's I mean it's actually better than cable quality because it's not compressed at all like cable and satellite are. And then here we have the Fox affiliate, which I can't even get in analog broadcast. And it actually uses the technology that's synonymous with digital over-the-air broadcast television, which is, it uses uh, multi, I think it's, I don't know why I can't remember right now, but I think it's called multi-streaming. And what it is, is the ABC affiliate has 23, and then the Fox one, and basically they're all sent over 23. They're all sent over the same channel, but they're broken up into sub-channels to allow three channels to come over which is basically why I can get it because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get it because it's a low it's a lower power station and where it's located is just too far away for me to get it here alright so that's where the video ends I don't really have an ending for it just it's gonna happen it's not actually gonna happen in two days on the 17th anymore it's gonna happen in May but part of my local stations actually are opting to stick with the original date because they're afraid if they don't people will just be more confused than they already are so yeah that's that's really all I wanted to talk about I made this video about a month ago which is actually why I'm talking about February as it is in the future not the present but yeah two days till the transition the original transition date and a couple months until it's actually gonna happen completely so that's all. Look for some more videos because um, I have some more that I've already shot footage for. I just haven't edited because I find it extremely time consuming and annoying. But um, I'll eventually get to that and you'll see the videos. So until then, thanks for subscribing. Um, I hope you enjoy the randomness that is me. And I'll see you later. Bye.